Acting in a foreign language is a project which has been going on in our actor training in the University of Tampere since 1995. Uh, we have been acting in Spanish, Italian, even in Mandarin Chinese so far. And the whole project of Coriolan is online started so that uh, I was giving a lecture in Zürich in January 2015 and the Dean of uh, Coventry University Mark Evans was there and heard my my presentation and he got very interested in uh, acting in a foreign language and he suggested the collaboration and because they were interested in um, uh, uh, developing uh, online teaching and of course they could offer us uh, their expertise in Shakespeare so uh, of course this uh, we got very interested in and that's how the whole thing started. The innovation behind it was that um, although there have been online collaborations before and uh, people including the OSC have used laptops and Skype to rehearse, we blew it up to a major scale which again uh, created a whole ton of problems that we had to overcome. Uh, we used a full-size rear projection screen in both spaces so that the, the actors uh, were appearing actual size with each other so each actor was able to look each other in the eye. Uh, this gave us problems with trying to solve the problem of eye contact which we had to work quite a lot to uh, get around the idea of actors looking at each other and actually being able to make direct eye contact. Uh, we used direction with sound so that uh, we used uh, placement of speakers so the sound actually appeared to be coming from the actual actor themselves were speaking and uh, we lit both spaces in the same way so the actors had the illusion that they were actually sharing the same space and we dealt with the issues of uh, latency, live delay, if you want to call it, in order to, to really get it as finely tuned as possible so that the, the actors really felt that the technology would become invisible. When this question, question was evoked that what kind of an effect this whole Coriolanus online course and uh, virtuality had on our, on our teaching, teaching of drama. Uh, I was really baffled that the first thing I could say that none, because uh, in a way it was, we had a sense of feeling that these English students and teachers were with us here in Tampere what, during the whole week, but there were, and this is the, I think the main point, that uh, we were really having actual international collaborative workshop on Shakespearean drama with lectures, uh, with uh, rehearsals, with uh, student collaboration one-on-one -on -one and smaller groups, and all this we had like about three different virtual uh, tools to work with. We had Adobe Connect, we have some Skype, we had Facebook groups for uh, scheduling and communication and short notice changes. And this, all this using of different kind of tools at the same time created a kind of real sense of community community and a real sense that these 
pretty students and teachers were actually visiting Tampere without the flight costs, without uh, hotel costs, everybody stayed home, everybody had normal work hours and the budget was minimal, we didn't spend almost any extra money or work hours for this and we had a total like week, week and a half workshop, international workshop on Shakespeare and I think this is something we should focus on that uh, this work can be done and uh, it's much cheaper and uh, environmentally more sensible way to do this and at this part I have to remind that if we want to develop our uh, drama, develop our art, we got to have international collaboration. Uh, students and teachers, uh, it's essential that they have to uh, get, get to know people from different culture and because uh, we have this European theatre tradition which is uh, which is not the same in everywhere, but it has similarities, so we have a lot to learn from each other. It was only towards the end of the two weeks with the kit that everybody got really comfortable with it and it was very easy just to drop in and oh here we are again let's carry on from where we were before. Uh, it's the amount of time and you need really to have a dedicated space and plenty of leading time and I think also the personal interactions in the same space are really important. The fact that Miko and Tina came over uh, they saw the kind of space that we could be using they met us. There's so many things that, uh, that that really break down the barriers there. If it had all been done entirely remotely um, from the get-go without any actual physical meeting, I think it would have been a lot harder. It really shortens things. Even though the end result you want is to be able to work remotely, you won't want to be able to communicate remotely, it's those real interactions in a real live space together that can really seal the deal and make it make it work. Do one of you want to start? Lydia! Whoppa! 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 She's not hearing for us in there. You need quite a large room, um, mainly for the back projection, to get the distance to project on a, on a screen. We had a, um, a 9 foot by 12 foot screen that was uh, uh, back projection able, as it were, um, and uh, you need to have a double the size of what you would normally have in a, in a room to project. Because you need the room for back projection, you need the room to be able to do things in front of the screen. Um, we had a sound system that was linked up to uh, um, the Polycom uh, conferencing software that also had a camera um, and within that software it also had uh, some dedicated microphones as well. So the microphones were picking up the ambient noise, they were being transferred through the Polycom that was also connected to the internet, that was then being transferred through to Finland. Um, we projected everything in uh, standard definition, 
would have been lovely in high definition. Um, but there is there's very little capabilities at the moment throughout the university to do that. So um, everything was was projected in standard definition, um, and we also cordoned off either side of the screen. So to the people on our side, it felt very much like that's where the room ended, um, even though there was another uh, 12, 15 feet behind the screen that there was nothing happening. Um, it just felt like that was the edge of the room for them. So the screen was leading into Finland and um, the guys at Tampere had um, exactly the same setup. <laughs> I think for me, the most memorable moment was uh, that uh, when one morning we were doing some warm-up exercises and um, it was an exercise which is quite common uh, in actor training that uh, without uh, saying a word they um, walk together and find together a moment when they go down and lie down on the floor and stay there for a while silently and again find a moment when they get up at the same time. And this was really a powerful moment because usually when you operate online you are quite used to um, quick bombard bombardment of stimuli and this shared virtual silence was something uh, that I had never experienced before so um, so the sense of closeness even if there was this huge distance was quite amazing that they really felt that they were sharing the same space skeptic at first about having a course like this with half of the group being in, in England um, but it turned out really 
cool. And um, um, but in the end, I was really surprised how um, how immersive it could be to act out a scene um, just with this screen in as the connector. Um, and I think, like, like, well, I really felt it. Like I was acting to be angry at someone on the screen on the other side, and yeah. I think that worked out really well. I really felt the. <laughs> I, I think yeah, that, that worked out really well. Um, and it was really like getting a Shakespeare lecture straight from England um, has a small extra spark to it compared to getting it from uh, a Finnish expert here. Um, and getting to know people from abroad, I, I think that was made quite easy and that happened quite naturally and like having this feeling of a group that was really great with just just like using technology um, i think this is one of the best experiences an actor could have really um i mean we're doing shakespeare which is obviously a big thing in any actor's life especially here in, in england um but also connecting with some like with people who have the same passion as you but in a completely different, you know, country, culture, um, and how they deal with it and learning that so that if I wanted to go and work out there, then, you know, I kind of know um, how they work out there and vice versa, if they came over here, they know that knowledge now too. And also working with the different cultures, the language, and picking up the language within a week. I mean, if I was to go and work in a different place for a couple of months, who knows how much I'd learn. So at first, the process was a bit daunting because it was a case of we're performing to a screen. It didn't feel like we were performing with actors. We weren't really connecting. But a couple of days down the line, you completely forgot the screen was there and everything was a lot more relaxed and easy. You just sort of fell into this routine of not acting with a screen, but acting with people. It was just a surreal experience from the start. I think what made it an incredible experience for me is that the sessions didn't just end in the room. They were they were outside as well. We would talk on Skype, on Adobe Connect, even on just Facebook Messenger and groups. And we weren't just uh, actors or working together. We, we sort of became friends. We sort of formed a friendship because we, we didn't just stop at acting. We were just talking about things that we did in our spare time, what we just get up to. And I don't think it's a national, a national stereotype to say is they really made our students raise their game. Our students, I noticed, weren't late to rehearsals, were ready to go, had work prepared. Uh, English students will phone it in for a couple of weeks in rehearsal. They'll go, yeah, I'll give you 50%. And then when it gets close to the dress rehearsal, then I'll put my foot on the accelerator and then I'll show you my real acting skills. Uh, the Finns give you 100% from the start. They've got their foot down immediately, and our students had to match that. Or I mean, they were they were frightened of being outgunned by the Finns. There was a kind of sense of Shakespeare's our guy, and they're showing us how to do it. We must retaliate, and it became competitive in a very healthy sense, in that it was friendly competition, and it was especially whenever we started to play the games, and our students were desperately trying to win, and the Finns were desperately trying to win, and in a theatre situation. You only really get the meaning of the game if you try and win it. If you play it kind of half in a halfway pass, you don't really get the benefit of it. You have to actually try and win it to learn the lesson of the game. And I felt that that kind of attitude to work and attitude to being focused really changed the way our students work during this process. One really amazing thing that I discovered in this week that when we go virtual and when we collaborate in virtual world the local becomes very important I mean then the, we can really see the differences and similarities in these student and drama cultures and uh, you can really see that it becomes really important that where we are for example uh, when students went to bar in this Adobe Connect uh, with this app 
and somebody was at home, somebody was at bar in Finland, and somebody was at school and everybody, but they were together in this. And they were really having a student collaboration with the small amounts of alcohol and uh, it was they were really keen where are you where are you so the local became uh, highlighted and very important in this uh, in these virtual spaces which is quite interesting Finish one first, right? Yeah. Cool and techno comes alike, eh? Caliore! Caliore to me! Helia! E tarpa vita enna muerta su teta. Olet nahin hanen teno cosca yalu yakulet puhenza. Nao lunit vire ker vire megna kironut teansem insenet vastonut. Asi en lakia yat hasta una valta, ya koskan hana tuki yo taman yukskin, nain rokin, ya subisu, o anstin, valotman, kulaman. Tu mucho costa halon palvelut, roma huven. Mita te lasci da te palvelut se sta? Puhun sinta, mister taidan. Te ehpe. Olka, olka. Ei kuule yhtään enempää. Tuomitkoot kuolemaan tarpeen kuilussa, maan pakoon, ruoskittavaksi, kitumaan tyrmässä viljan jyväsellä päivässä. En silti aio ostaa niiden armoa edes yhden hyvän sanan hinnalla. Tai hillitä henkeäni, vaikka saisin niiltä kaiken mahdollisen vain sanomalla hyvää huomenta. Kulitseko, kansalaiset? Kaljole, kaljole, tiumies! Hiljaa, ei tarvita enää muita syyteitä. Olette nähneet hänen tekonsa ja kuulleet puheensa. Hän on lyönyt virkamiehiä ja kironnut teitä itseään. Vastustanut asen lakia ja tässä uhmaa valtaa, joka häntä tutkii jo tämä yksin. Näin rikollinen ja suuri syyllisyys ansaitsee valittoman kuoleman. What you have seen him do and heard him speak. Beating your officers, cursing yourself, opposing laws with strokes and ear defying. Those whose great power must try him, even this, so criminal, in such capital kind, deserves the extremest death. But since he hath served well for Rome, what do you prate of service? I talk of that, that know it. You! No, I, I, I pray you. I know no further. Let them pronounce the steep top here in death. Vagabond exile, fleeing, bent to linger but with a grain a day. I would not buy their mercy at the price of one fair word, nor check my courage for what they can give to have it with saying good morrow. All that he has, as much as in him lies from time to time, aiming against the people, seeking means to pluck away their power, and now at last given hostile strokes, and that not in the presence of dreaded justice, but on the ministers that do distribute it. In the name of the people, no, and in the power of us, the no, tribunes, we even from this instant banish him as it is no, in the perfect perception from off the rock top here, never more to enter our own bed. In the people's name, I say it shall be so. It shall My dear wife's estimate, her wounds increase the treasure of my loins. Own life, my dear wife's estimate, her wounds increase and treasure of my loins. Then, if I should... Dear wife's estimate, her wounds increase and treasure of my loins. Then, if I would speak that... If I would speak We know that your dread so that what? There's no more to be said, but he is banished. An enemy to the people and his country, it shall be done! God, whose breath I hate, as weak old the rotten fence, whose lungs I bite as the dead carcasses of unburied men that do corrupt my air, I banish you! And here we may with your uncertainty, let every free 
single rumor shake your hearts. Your enemies, with nodding of their plumes, ban you into despair. Have the power still to banish your defenders? Till at length your ignorance, which finds not till it feels, making not reservation of yourselves, still your own foes, deliver you as most abated captives to some nation that won you without blows. Despising for you the city, thus I turn my own back. There is a world elsewhere. 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 When we heard about the chorus, I was quite skeptical because, well, we were gonna use a lot of technology, and well, my experiences with technology and connections aren't always been the good ones, so I was concerned that whether the connections and the technique is gonna work. But it turned out to be a really successful and functional kit, what we used. So that wasn't a problem at all. It was quite new to act via a screen and via all these gadgets. Because I've done camera work, but this wasn't quite it. Because <laughs> the situation was quite like a theatre scene, or we were doing a, a scene from Career Lanus. And we did it as a theater piece, kind of, but it wasn't camera acting because we, because it was stage acting. So it was quite strange at first to do it with the kids and via these screens, but once you got used to it, it kind of felt that we were in the same room. Um, all the distance got smaller and smaller once we got used to it and and during the week that we worked together, because it was so intense uh, that we worked with the groups through Adobe Connect and Facebook, everything. So we really felt that we met personally and during the virtual lessons that we were in the same room and the distance got smaller and smaller. Yeah, I'm repeating myself. <laughs> so the language was really delicate or, or the rules of the Shakespeare language are really delicate and it was great to learn them and learn how to break them as well. <laughs> and I think it was, it was really important to learn them from a native because then we were really strict with the rules as well. And something else what I gained was the, to learn how in different countries and different cultures people work and study. I think that's really relevant to learn. In, in this global world we live in, we can't just stay what we know, we need to expand our knowledge with every aspect we can learn. 
for me this project was was very much about uh, confidence and emancipation because as an acting student I really really want to work internationally mm. but somehow it, it has this very like mystical sense over it that it's really difficult to go uh, abroad yeah yeah and work with people you have never met and like where do you even find them <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So really, this this was a great way to bring people from other countries together in the same room, really, mm. and open up new possibilities for future projects. I feel like this is very beneficial for us thinking about the future. You now we have all these new people in our lives who live in another country. Yeah, and I think so. I I think that we have very the variation of cultures in Europe. Mm. It's huge, and everybody has their uh, cultural heritage and traditions. And in a in a way, that I feel that if we wanna, if we ever wanna feel one mm. as Europe, uh, art is a beautiful way of reaching that goal. Kind of sharing your uh, culture and mm. your traditional thinking. And now we got to know the tradition of Shakespeare, and we did it very traditional way yeah. at first, very strict way. Like when you look at Shakespeare acting it's a very strict cube you have to stay inside that cube uh, and on the other hand we likewise we shared our traditional dances and uh, mm. and our working culture in theater and we combined those two and through this new media or through this project which which was unconventional in itself i now think of shakespeare a little different i, I actually mm. felt kind of free doing Shakespeare, even though it was, at first it was like, this is too strict, this is too conventional for me. But through this way of working, I felt like, hey, yeah, I have some freedoms when I'm doing Shakespeare, yeah, yeah. feels good. And also for me, the form of working, because there is the screen, mm. and at first it felt so bizarre working with it, and this small delay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and everything. It was a little bit yeah. difficult to grasp the moment. Yeah. But once we got the hold of it, it was really like a very magical experience, almost. You were these yeah. people in the same room with you, and also um, another country, like life-sized. Mm. And also the form is so so weird that it makes you really concentrate. So the classes were the time was used very well. Yeah, I I, yeah, and I feel like that small uh, like pause or that mm. time change between yeah. the images of the, of the screens I think that's gonna disappear you know once the technique goes yeah. further on and actually I was all, all the time I was waiting like hey they're gonna jump in here through that screen yeah. like any moment now yeah, any yeah. day then they're gonna <laughs> run and end up here <laughs> so this was this was very interesting uh, in the, the Coriolanus project the technology and, and the size, the scale of the whole project. 60 students in the English class, plus the teachers, plus the technical staff, uh, the, and, and everything, everything that's uh, combined with that. Also the Finnish uh, part, we had 12 students and, and uh, what, three teachers, uh, and plus the technical staff again. It was quite huge. Uh, Possibly, quite possibly, the the, the biggest scale uh, work that we've done inside school, anyways. Um, so I think that was that was pretty damn interesting. How to get that all of that working, all those people working on the same thing, and and why should we stop with Europe? We can we can expand this further on to. Uh, Japan, Chile, uh, the United States, why not, um, India, for Christ's sakes. There are so many places that this can be done in, and, and uh, I know that people would be interested in this. I've told about this to people from, from different countries, they like, what, wow. Um, so, yes, the European cooperation should definitely be work with further on and and uh, and it should be taken even further than that but all in all 
um, I think it was a good, good project which should be developed because it can. Um, there's a lot to develop, there's a lot to expand upon, less bandwidth, more high definition, better audio, uh, better uh, video uh, feed of, of, of both ends. There's a lot to expand. So let's do it. Also, um, welcome to Finland to Lake Saima. Bless you. The girls today in society go for classical poetry. So to win their hearts, you must quote with ease Aeschylus and Euripides. But the poet of them all, who will start them simply raven, is the poet people call the bard of Stratford-on-Avon. Brush up your Shakespeare. Stop quoting him now. Brush up your Shakespeare and the women you will wow. Just to claim a few lies from Othello and I'll think you're a heck of a fella. If your blonde won't respond when you flatter her, tell her what pony told Cleo Patterer. And if still to be shocked she pretends well, just remind her that all's well. That ends well. Brush up your Shakespeare and they'll all kowtow. Shakespeare, stop quoting him now. Brush up your Shakespeare, and the women you will wow. If your girl is a Washington Heights dream, treat the kid to a midsummer's night dream. If she fights when her clothes you are mussing, what a clothes but you do about nothing. If she says your behavior is heinous, kick her right in the Coriolanus. Brush up your Shakespeare and they'll all cow cow. And they'll all cow cow. Think stout and they'll all cow cow. I trow and they'll all.